Throughout this video, I am going to show you how you can install Dumper Robot. Dumper Robot is a cryptocurrency futures trading robot that is specifically designed to day trade for you on a high volatile market. So without further delay, let's dive in. How does a Dumper Robot work? The work of a Dumper Robot is to find a high volatility market. Like in the case of this chart, you can see how this coin pump at this certain point. Now, a dumper robot is to find a high volatile market like in the case of this specific one and then scan for any coin that is pumping at this certain point and then it is going to sell that coin at top and then put a take profit. So whenever there is high volatile market in the case of this one, your bot is going to execute a sell position which is going to be a short position and the same thing applies to buy and sell. That's exactly how your dumper robot is going to execute trades. Your dumper robot will also send you trading notifications like signals to execute on your own. So if you feel like executing those signals, you can copy those signals. But before copying those signals, take note that it is not all the signals that are valid. So you have to apply an analysis to be able to execute the signal successfully. I'm going to make another video on how to execute those signals. Now let's find out how we can install and set up our dumper robot. On the directory of your dumper robot, these are the files in the directory and you are going to see the bot.exe which is going to be the main file that you are going to run and the set me file is going to be where you are going to input the settings parameters for your bot. On the settings parameters, you are going to find the trade volume, volume multiplier and multiplier minimum level the volume multiplier is going to be your order quantity which is the quantity that your dumper robot is going to execute trade initially now let's assume that your dumper robot executed trade at this direction and the market go against it if the market go against it up to 10 percent which is the multiplier minimum level 10 percent then it is going to execute another trade when there is any successful signal to execute trades and while executing the trade it is going to use the other volume that is volume multiplier of the previous volume in this case 1.6 times 10 that is going to be the next order volume in the case that the trade go against it up to 10 percent the margin mode is where you can set your margin mode that you want to use isolated means that you only have to use the balance in your futures account to execute trade that is your futures wallet or your derivative wallet to execute trade but if you change it to cross it means if at any given point trade go against you then you can still use the balance that is available in your spot wallet or other wallet to hold your positions the leverage is where you are going to set your leverage that you want to use leverage is the amount of funds that you can borrow to execute a trade to further explain how leverage works, let's assume that you want to buy a coin worth $500, but you don't have $500, you only have $50, for example. $50 times 10 is equals to 500. So we can tell our exchange that we want to use a leverage of 10 to execute trades. In that case, we are going to pay $50 or keep $50 as a collectoral to execute the trade that worth $500. But if any given point, the trade or the position that we have that we bought $500 worth of the coin is against us, that is in the case that is minus 50 in loss or floating loss, then we are going to get liquidated, which is the collectoral that we have is going to be finished. So in that case, if you were using cross margin, your position will still be holding if you have funds in other wallets. Or you can also increase your margin, which is going to be $50 as a margin. And you can increase it to hold your position. That's exactly how leverage works. So the leverage parameter one means you are not using any leverage. So you can set the leverage that you want to use. The pump percent is the percentage in which the cryptocurrency is going to pump before your bot will start finding a signal to execute a short position. 
the dump percent is the opposite of the pump percent. You can set from this point for your bot to execute short and long position. You can set it to execute only short position. If you don't want it to execute any position, you can set it to only send signals only. Send AI signal means that your bot will be sending trading signals so you can copy it manually after applying your own analysis. And the TF is the trading time frame. Do not change the time frame, rather leave it by default. This specific section is the algorithm sections and you are not allowed to modify it at any given point. So just leave it by default. The telegram IDs is where you are going to impute the ID in which you want your bot to send notification to. So you can just click on it and then inside the square bracket, you can paste the ID of the telegram. And then if you have more than one telegram account that you want to send notification to, you can also impute the second ID separating with comma inside the square bracket. For now, there's only one exchange available, which is Bybit. Then the API key, secret key is where you are going to impute your exchange API key. And the license key is where you are going to set your license key. To find out your Telegram ID and also to make your bot to send you trading notifications, navigate to your Telegram and then search for Floronix Trade Alert Bots. Click on Floronix Trade Alert Bots and then click on Menu and click on Start. Then click on My ID. Then you are going to have your telegram id you have to click on start on this bot to initialize it to send you a notification so just copy your telegram id and then navigate to your set me file and paste it here do not forget to save and then close it when you are done come back to your bot.exe file double click it to open your bot now once you see this screen it means your bot is now successfully running Congratulations. Now your bot is going to execute trade and also send you trading notifications. This is the way in which your bot is going to send you notifications like trading notifications and also signal notifications on your Telegram. You can see a lot of signals so you have to go through it one by one and then execute the trade manually if you feel like to copy the trade. Your bot is also going to execute trade automatically when there is a valid signal to do so. If this type of content makes sense to you, please click on the subscribe button, like this video and also comment down below. Then in the next video, I'm going to show you the effective way to copy this signal so that you can make a lot of profits. See you in the next video.